All right, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome back to Ultra Kellen Real Estate. As always, uh, thank you for all support. People following the page, greatly appreciate it. All right, to get right into it. So for those guys who don't know me personally, so um, I'm from the South Side of Chicago, and all the properties that I rent out and that I own are all in the South suburbs. And so when you're in the suburbs and even in the city, like you start dealing with different rules. So different rules going from suburb to suburb. So if anybody watching this video knows anything about the Chicago suburbs, we have a lot of them and a lot of them are very small. I mean, we have suburbs where their population is probably small in certain high schools. Like literally, like from me driving from where I live in my four unit to driving to the gym I go to, I literally go through three different suburbs. Three different suburbs all have their own mayor, their own school district, you know, their own separate tax base, their own police officers, everything. So all these different rules come into play when you're buying property because certain things that are rules in Riverdale may not be a rule in South Holland. And the same thing goes for wherever you are in the country or in the world. Like, you know, the rules always change from town to town. And all these suburbs are different towns. Even though they're very small, they're different entities. So one thing, for instance, like in um, one suburb called South Holland, Last time I checked, the zoning laws are there's no multi-units allowed in South Holland and there's no apartment buildings or there's no condos. Actually, last time I checked, either period. So everything there is a house, pretty much like everything there is a house to my knowledge, either a house or either a business. You know, in other suburbs, they have rules about maybe how high you can build, like, you know, how many units you're allowed to have in one building. Like, there's all these different rules. And so you have to make sure that you, like, learn how to follow these rules because the last thing you want when you're in this real estate journey is to be getting dinged with fines. And, like, it's super annoying. Like, I've had it happen. I can give stories about that. Like, I know suburbs where the inspectors literally drive through the alleyways just to find things, to find the, the fine the owners for. Like, literally, like, if they're bored, They'll drive through the alleyways or they'll ride past the front. They'll try to find anything to start nitpicking that in order to make you pay a fine. And that's one of the things you have to look out for. Also, the thing about the suburbs. So, as you guys have known in the past, I rent everything Section 8 pretty much. So, with Section 8, they require you, or certain villages that you can rent Section 8 through require the village to have their own inspection. So, not only do you have to follow the inspection for Section 8, you, ask how, you also have to follow the inspection for that said village or that suburb. So, for instance, for both my properties, or actually all my properties, all my properties are in suburbs where you have to have not only the inspection for the Section 8 agency, but also for that suburb. So, I have to, I have to always have two different inspections. And certain rules apply to one suburb, but don't apply to another suburb. Like one suburb may want you to have this many smoke alarms and this and that. The other suburb may just want you to have one main smoke alarm and want you to have a smoke alarm over here, this, that, and the fourth. Like for instance, um, in my two flat, they want you to have all the smoke alarms hardwired so that that goes from the top floor to the first floor to the basement. Everything has to be hardwired. In a different suburb in my four unit, that's not the case. They don't require all the smoke alarms to be hardwired. So little things like that can make a difference in just knowing the rules and just knowing what you have to do to make sure that you don't get dinged with fines. And trust me, like, you know, if you're in this game long enough and you have enough tenants and this and that, like, you know, you'll get dinged with fines. And that's whether you're with a, a small suburb where your property is or whether you're in a big city. Like, fines are going to happen. Trust me. All right. So make sure that whenever you buy a property, make sure you learn the rules of that suburb or that town, whether it's a big city, small suburb, whatever it may be. And especially when it comes to small suburbs, that's one of their revenue streams is to find people like, you know, you know how it goes. You're driving through a small little suburb or a small little town. They always have police officers out. That's one of the main ways they make money is to get people with tickets. No different than it is with people with properties. One of the main ways to get people is to find people for a little technical, like a little BS and stuff like that, that they may not know about, about the rules about renting out a property in that area. All right. So that's it for right now. As always, if you're on Instagram, you can find me on YouTube at Ultra Kellen Real Estate. And if you're on YouTube, find me on Instagram at Ultra Kellen. All right, guys. Till next time.